check out this new vlog and i will see you in the next one peace i had to go to work i had to go in the building today so i was feeling some type of way but it is time to go so we'll talk more in the car okay so i'm thinking that i may run to um max since i'm close to the mall because well not close to the mall but not that far away okay i made it to um da vinci's donuts but i also found a place down here that says tzatziki mediterranean restaurant so i'm gonna go in there and look at their menu as well So I got donuts, so now I'm going to head to this other place. Okay, so they had music playing as soon as you hit the outside of their door. But it's a place called Tzatziki's, and this are these are the pita bread with the um, their version of Tzatziki sauce because it wasn't like um, Zoe's, but similar. This was the gyro with the pasta salad. And this was the uh, salmon and pasta salad with a Greek salad with extra feta on the side. So I did end up making it to MAC. And as you see, taking off the lipstick that you saw in the previous clip, she is gathering about three different colors because I have a lot of MAC lipstick at home. Trying to find something new that I do not have, but something that is still kind of work appropriate, even though, you know, it's virtual. So... Let's see what I came up with or we came up with. This is a cream sheen glass, and the color is, what's the color? 
Boy Bait. Yeah, Boy Bait 204. And then I got this lipstick, which is Sultriness. Oopsie. And it's actually a matte color. Can you see it? So it's very, sorry about the color. It's very, there it goes, very neutral. Then I also got this one. It's called, sorry, wrong one. It's called Flat Out Fabulous. Oops, let me turn it the right way. And this one is 705. I'm sorry, the sultriness is 304. Now I've been using this one. So this is it here. And, but I've been combining it with this color that I already had, which is called Clay City. Or uh, some, I'm sorry, child, City Slick. And this is A9960. Uh, Not A960, child, A96. And it's like a clay type of color. And I've been combining it because, let me put on my hands so I can show you. See, it's real light. That's why I've been combining it. Because I think I must have got it for free because I don't know why in the world. Hold on, I'm trying to show y'all. Um, I've been combining it. Oh, I got stuff all on the thing, child. But I've been combining it to make it kind of like a light color. So it's combined. So it's a little bit lighter when you combine it. And then last, I got this um some kind of, I don't know, what is this? Some kind of setting spray or something. Now, I forgot to take this back when I took back that powder, that blush powder stuff I had. So, I need to take this back or either get a blush powder. <laughs> so, anyway, so that's the color. And that's what I got. And this one is kind of like a just a gloss that you can put on top of anything to make it glossy. Or you can wear it by itself, which is kind of more like a sheer neutral-ish color. And so, as you see, I just tried to combine them a little bit. But you get the idea. Hey, hey, so Friday, getting something to eat. You know, I really should turn this into some kind of food vlog because I'm always getting something to eat. But however, I am almost finished with two of the rooms. I'm gonna place an order for some more items because I really need to go ahead and get this gym set up because as you see, get real also um i signed up for a new social group so we will be doing one outing a month so that will be vlogged as well and yeah so i'm getting my life back in order and when i say that i mean getting back out doing things i just felt like when covid hit Everything stopped, I stopped, life stopped. But slowly but surely getting back in the groove of things. Headed to little Azio's for pizza and then Morelli's and back to the house because I really was working. I was working on uh, my portfolio. I've been working on work and watching movies. So it is what it is. Okay, so this is sausage mushroom. This is where I went. And this is a 12 inch chicken sausage. And I think it was mushrooms. And chicken Alfredo. Okay, as you see, I was in the mall. I had to do a return for that neck powder that I bought last week. All right, happy Saturday. I am at Perimeter Mall. I normally do not go to the mall, but um, in the last clips, I was at the mall getting new lipsticks. And I ended up buying that facial powder, I guess it's blush. I don't know what it is, but point is, when I got home, it was actually broken up. And that stuff was 40 bucks, so I was gonna exchange it, but I just decided to return it because I didn't like the way it made my face look after all. And I think it's just because I don't normally wear makeup. 
so I think it's just something I would have to get used to but right now I am eating Chick-fil-a because I'm starving I'm having the um, let me see the pepper jack grilled the grilled chicken sandwich with pepper jack cheese and then I also got a Sunjoy or Arnold Palmer as I like to say and I got some macaroni and then I got an ice cream cone I really needed the ice cream cone because it is hot out here as you see I got my little fat arms out today honey so I got this ice cream cone put it in a cup because I had so many items to carry in they were taking so long child it's melting but it is what it is so I'm going to eat this real quick because I ran out the house I didn't get a chance to eat breakfast and then I swear it took me like an hour and a half to get here it was so much traffic like I left I left one highway to go to the other highway one freeway to go to one freeway and baby it was packed either way I went so I was just stuck in traffic and granted I could have went to another Mac store but I just wanted to go to the exact one I bought it at because I don't want any problems even though I probably wouldn't have but point I'm probably gonna stop at La Mandolin and get me some chicken salad and then I might go down to World Market since I'm up here and um, that's really it like I don't have a purpose to be over here I don't have a purpose really to be outside but I'm out but we'll see let me eat first so I actually like this little hat. That is cute, right? Okay, so I'm back in the car. I went to um, World Market. I got, um, I had to show you what I get home because one of the things that I got is like a caddy. It's like a six glass cup caddy. And it was really cute and I think it was a really good price so it was $25 and you get six glasses in a little gold caddy I thought that was really cute for the basement because we have like a bar downstairs so I'm going to use that down there and I got two lanterns for the front porch they were $59 a piece and then I got um those it's the little black little girl she has those lemonades i don't know what it's called but i got three of those but i'll show them when i get home of course uh i don't know where i'm going right now i really don't but it's almost five o'clock and i feel like i should be at home <laughs> so um i think i'm gonna run in la mandolin and get some chicken salad possibly and then Head to the house yeah because I only came up here to go to um Mac and because I was already up here I said let me go ahead and go to World Market but that's really all I got for you uh yeah 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 oh and I bought a little hat so as you see my hair gets messed up all the time especially in the summertime because I sweat in my head. So I bought this little hat. It's like a little summer little hat that I can wear when it's very, very hot and humid. And I wanna wear my hair down, but my hair is frizzy and looking a mess. So, oh uh, yeah, sorry, I'm looking around. Um, but yeah, that's all I got right now. I'm about to get out the car. Why are they selling Girl Scout cookies in the Total Wine parking lot? I just feel like that's like politically incorrect. Push. Heading out. Okay, so I made a stop that I didn't know I was going to make. I passed Total Wine. And no, I don't drink wine. But I wanted to see what type of non-alcoholic beverages that they offered. And as you see... They have a huge selection for it to be non-alcoholic. They have wines, all type, all flavors. Um, and the prices are really reasonable. $8.99 to about $14.99. I'm doing my best to try to zoom in on the prices. They also have uh, mimosas, uh, beers. So 
just looking at the flavors of everything, the prices, and I actually picked up two non-alcoholic wines and a um, mimosa. Beer's not really my thing, but I will show you once we get to the house. Please tell me that you see this dog. <laughs> and there is no window or either he has it down. Ciao. Can you see? I'm trying to get close. Okay, so I got these two lanterns, solar lanterns. I got this hat from um, the lanterns in the hat are World Market. I got these from World Market. And then this is from La Mandolin. Chicken salads. And this is what I was talking about this. See, like if you pick it up, it goes down and up. I thought this was cute. It was $25 from um, World Market. Then I got these non-alcoholic or de-alkalized wines from Total Wine. And then I got some croissants to go with the chicken salad. From, um, my man. And that is it for today. Okay, so I'm in awe just picking up a few items. And I came across this. So I bought two of these. And here's the back. I mean, sorry, the side. Then, oops, I came across these. So we'll see. So I got those, these, and I got some mango slices because I was at work and I got mango slices in the cap yeah, and they were so good. And then I got this. And then I got some shredded lettuce. Some pita bread. And then I think this is the salsa that I used to get. I can't remember because I haven't been to Audi's in a minute. Do you see the, this, this, the disgusted look on my face? Now, I'm very nice and kind. I will even entertain your foolish conversations in the store. But don't walk up on me. Two people walked up on me. Don't do that shit. Don't do that shit. I looked. Like, so one guy walked up on me. And I had, because I was getting those, some sliced mangoes. And he gonna act like he looking at the grapes. Sir, it looked like you're trying to take my purse. That's what it looks like. That's one. Then... I'm in the frozen food section looking at the chicken egg rolls, trying to see, you know, I'm trying to eat better because as you see, ooh. So I was looking at the calorie count and the sodium count on the back. I look, this lady walking around the store with all this shit in her hand, remind you, we're in Aldi, so if you don't get a basket, hence you walking around the store with all this stuff, I mean, stuff, 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 stuff. And I look at her like, and she, she, she started talking ma'am it looked like you was walking up on my purse that's what it looked like i said oh this audis is unsafe i should have went to the other one on the upside by the house so anywho i was going to this audis because i was looking for this 1999 like little decorative bowl they had last week granted i know i'm a week late but i thought maybe if i came to this location they would have it because a lot of their home goods section items don't sell as quickly but honey, uh, oh shoot, I'm trying to get that out of my glasses and I made it worse. But don't, don't walk up on me. I was like, mm. so I said, honey, if I come back to this one, it'd have to be early in the morning. Um, because I didn't like that. I didn't like it at all. Especially because girl, I'm out here working just like you. Like, I don't, I don't understand people like honey. I'm working just like you, trying to make a way just like you. Now, what in the world? But anywho, uh, I want to go over there to Sonics and see what their drive through looks like because they're always bagged up. But if they're not, I'm going to run in and get, not run in, but run through the drive through and get some um, mozzarella sticks. Now, I want to get a drink too because it is so hot out here. I, I don't mind this sweatshirt. I just got this sweatshirt on because as you see, I'm looking damn near homeless as usual. But it's like 90 degrees out here today. Like, it is hot. Um, 
but yeah okay enough of my rambling all right all right so today is saturday and we have a few stops to make today i totally forgot that the crate and barrel outlet opened up yesterday but i wouldn't have went yesterday no way child because it was raining and kind of kind of chilly anywho um definitely got to run up in that piece then i want to also go to this place called trifecta let me raise my window up want to go to this place called trifecta it's a furniture store they have multiple locations i think it's kind of i don't know if it's an actual store or a pop-up store and i say that because they were having pop-ups in buford and alpharetta marietta in the past but i didn't get to make any of those i don't know why so today we are going to go to trifecta in alpharetta and then we're going to go to um the crate and barrel outlet in it's kind of like in Shambly, Dunwoody area. That will be still classified. I believe that's still classified as Atlanta. Um, but it may be it may be um it may be Shambly. So we're gonna go to those two locations definitely today. And I'm not really hungry at this moment, but you know I like to try new restaurants. So we shall see what's on the menu for today. So let's hit the road. Okay, y'all, I made it to try the home furniture. So I made it inside of the Crate and Barrel outlet. It says like Crate and Barrel CB2 and Crate and Barrel Kids. Ciao. Mm -mm.
okay so once i put the clips in you will see that the outlet the crate and barrel outlet was a waste of time is a waste of time you can go there if you want to but i don't recommend it unless you're just in this neighborhood because it's really hit or miss like you might find one or two items that are not broken and tore up is anybody gonna let me over or let me in probably not Hello. okay i'm back there was a kind spirit that let me over <laughs> um but like i was saying i took i took like little clips in the store um as best i could but i don't know what they were thinking like it's just not one and the prices are not that great like they had this one um item it's like 1200 it's like 30 40 percent off I just don't feel like that's that ex, like it's not how do you put less expensive it's not that expen, inex, inexpensive that's the word i'm looking for like what word am i looking for they were to me the prices were not that inexpensive like i'm looking at it like if it has nicks on it if it's dirty if it's miss if it's if it's missing pieces it need to be half of half so if it's if it's twelve ninety nine, it need to be forty percent off, and maybe like another twenty or another forty percent off. Because if it's dirty, you got to get it cleaned. If it's broken, you got to repair it. If it's missing drawers or knobs or what handles or whatever, you got to add it on there. So I would not recommend it, but do you boo? So now I'm on my way to Sam's Club and then I'm going to go home. And I need to get off of here because I missed my turn because there's so much traffic out here. So yeah. Okay, so this or these are the pillows that I have decided on from Trifecta yesterday. And they kind of go with the rug because the rug has kind of like these gray, bluish, brownish you know colors um in it so see all right so i got this these two i got these as well so i got two of these and then those other two okay so i got these remember these things these were from what's them outlet and I got the inserts from Home Goods. I could have done a larger size, but I think this is pretty decent. I dropped it though on the floor, so it cracked. So I'll probably get another one when this one wears out. Then we have the rug from West Am. Ooh, I don't know, and it got something on it already. I had to wipe it off, but anyway. This is the rug. I mean runner, sorry, that's the runner. And then I have the rug to match it. And I'm calling this the dining den because it's supposed to be the dining room. I got to get something to clean that off. But I'm thinking I might put some wallpaper on this wall. Not for sure yet. But this is what we have. Excuse me. This is the chair in the ottoman from Article. The pillow is from CB2. And the insert is from West Elm. And... Same thing here. I also have two small black and white 12 inches that I ordered from Etsy that should be arriving shortly that will go in front of the brown pillows. And still going to get maybe some seat tables or something to put in this middle. Haven't decided yet, but this is what I have so far. So I end up putting these individual flowers in this um vase these vases were from uh, target and these are the target flowers here and then this one i got from michael's i just put this in here just because child i don't know if it will stay but this is how it is for the moment and i have to find somewhere to place these and that's it for this week's vlog see you in the next one peace